Right, ladies and gentlemen, just let that dry for a bit, and we're going to put the decals on now. Well, there's no decals in this kit, but I've just got a couple of the old crosses to put on, very small ones, just to just to see. Let's have a look, see how far we're off from them. Not quite yet. But what I'll do is, there's, there's a nice little spot there. This is just going to use one of these uh, water pens, and I've got the microsol microsol in there, so. If I just put a blob on there, I've got a leak in this one, look. It's no good, is it? Hmm. Put that on there for a second. Pop that there. Let's have a look, see what decals we've got. Let's see if they're... Uh, Just, just about to start. So I'm only putting these little small crosses on, just as an identification. As normal, everybody does it their own way. And then you get me, who can't do it properly at all. That's the different crosses then. There we go, just in the centre of that, I think. There we are, just a now look, just a little cross on the side. Let's straighten it up. A little blob of. Just to bed it down in there as well. And we'll do the other side, same on the other side. A bit of. Can't really see, can you? There, put that on there. And. Is it ready to roll? It is indeed. And then. About the middle in it there. There we go. So let's just straighten that up. I know there was no markings with this kit. But looked a bit boring without a couple of markings and it's a light, light coat again of the uh, microsol I'll put the microset later on let's try and I think we'll put one where should we put the other one I think we'll put it on the bum end of it there just on that door hatch I know there's a little raised grill but it's not going to really make any difference this one's a slightly different size cross Pop that on there, straighten it up. And we see, sorry, okay, you can't see, can you? My apologies. Put one on the back of the hatch like that, and there's another blob of microsol on there, just to bed it in. Leave that for a while. So that was just a quick with the decals. I'm sure everybody does it the same or in a sort of way. Let's just take the excess microsol off and on the back. And on that side. Alright, so as you can see it looks a bit better. Just even just that one decal. Even just that one decal and that bit of space there. And I'm not gonna put all the tracks on. I'm really not. Uh, as you can see, it's come out reasonably well. Quite happy with it. There's a couple of marks that I'm not. There's a couple of bits and pieces I'm not happy with the camouflage. But once I weather it, it'll uh, bed itself down. And we'll, uh, so I'll let these decals uh, quite square. I'll let these decals set up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let them set up. Uh, I'm going to go on to outside and dull coat it, and I'll leave it now till uh, till tomorrow. So I'd just like to thank you for watching again. So the next step will be I'll dull coat it outside because obviously I can't dull coat it in the house because it stinks. Uh, and then hopefully we can start the weathering tomorrow. So this is Greg signing off, and we'll be back shortly. Right, I'm back again ladies and gentlemen, I've uh, jumped the gun a little bit, I've uh, 
As you can see, I've added the wheels and the tracks. So this is still isn't fastened down yet. So yeah. We've got to do all the uh, sag on it yet. The tracks went on really quite well, but the wheels are very, there's a, only a small contact point on the wheels. Uh, they're very, you have to get, make sure it's really quite dry and firm before you attempt putting the tracks on, otherwise they'll just, they'll just cave in on you. The idler, sorry, the sprocket's fine, it's just the idler at the back has only got a small contact, sorry, a small contact point and it's very, very loose. It needs to, as if there's, it needed something like, like, like uh, and oh, it just didn't feel right. I don't know what, what so I've had to uh, strengthen it slightly. I've uh, put a metal bar right through the thing where the actual thing is there of that and I put them on the metal bar because it just pulled in slightly, ever so slightly. But now I've got this piece on here just to keep this wheel straight, keep the tension off it while it, uh, while it sets up. But all the rest of them are fine. So that's the only sort of thing I have with the tracks. I've had to staple them obviously but we'll we'll uh, we'll mask them quite easily when I uh so they obviously they've got to be they've got to be uh, put a sag on it so there's plenty of room for making a sag so it's not a problem for the sag. So we're alright for that, which we'll do at a later point. So, so that's what I've done. Uh, let's put the lid back on for now. It's quite a nice snug fit as well with the, uh, the base. There's a little point at the front to, um, oh, excuse me, for gluing, like a little grommet that sits in. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to use a wash all over it first, which I'm going to use is the it's a um, it's a DAC vehicle, just an overall wash with DAC enamel. Oh, let's pull back. It's the enamel wash for DAC for DAC vehicles. Oh, it's quite a nice wash. I don't put it on too thick. I just sort of put a bit on and spread it out as far as I can go with the brush. So I'm going to pop a little bit into the lid. Put it down there. And we'll start off with the front. I think I don't I don't put a lot on. I just sort of spread it all out first. You see, it's quite dark. It doesn't dry that dark, obviously. So, Just keep pulling it round. This this will go a long way. This. Keep dragging it out, all the parts, all the bits, right along here. As you can see, I've hardly got any on my brush now, so I'm just going to go and keep collecting it from the front, where there's quite a lot. And just keep dragging it, and dragging it down. On the front, again, we'll nick it and spread it along here. So let's get a little bit more again and just dab it everywhere and then I can spread it around. I'll start on this side here, let's do this one so you can't see can you? And just do the uh, fenders, side skirts, whatever you want to call them. See, it's not going to dry like this, it'll dry quite uh, not as dark. Well, we'll carry on along the top. Yeah, you shouldn't have got washes in here really. I just thought I'd uh, add it to the video or the YouTube, whatever you want to call it.
as you can see I, I haven't used a great deal at all in fact I've dipped my brush in twice in the, uh, in the pot and that's all I've done at the moment just drag it back Okay, on the other side now, just a little, a little dab again, not a lot. And we'll just spread it around. Just taking some bits off where it's gone a bit thick. Right, let's, let's tilt. Let's just tilt this forward. A little dab, hardly anything on this brush, I think, just to. As you can see, I put the jack on. That's all I've put on since last time. I see on the tank shot on the tank hull itself. All the rest will be put on a later date. Just before the final weathering stage, I'll put all the um, piney tools and the uh, tow cables and things like that. So as you can see, I haven't, yeah, I haven't used a lot of this stuff at all. Slightly putting it on and there we go. So let's pop that back up there. Let's see if I can just spread it out a bit more in the places we've missed. I won't bother with the top of the exhaust because they're going to be not rusty as such because it's a you know a bit rusty but not rusted to hell. Right, so I think we shall just lift that off, put that to one side and we'll carry on by just doing the uh, what's left on the brush which isn't a lot at the moment so it's a little dab, in fact I'll just take a little bit off there put them on the wheels Can't see, can you? Just, just slightly there, the wheel slightly. I've also one on the wheels. If you can see, I've actually um, used used the uh, metal polishing powder, and I've met, uh, gone round the rims of the wheels. Obviously, it's metal on metal, so it's going to be a. Uh, A shiny contact as such, and on the sprocket, you can't quite see them all, can you? Can you can't, can't quite tilt it to the. No, I can't quite show you it before. I should, have, I should have done that before. I should have videoed that, but. Okay, so that's that one side. I've done underneath, just messing about with different things. I'll we'll get. Uh, I'll go any further before we lose the front. Let's do the front. Far too much on the brush, far too much on the brush. If 
far, far too much. I'll just drag it back a little bit on here just to and let's go up now I'll cover this up with using the excess on the brush. Uh, we're not going to see underneath the tank as much, but may as well use what we've got on the brush. I just want the the basic the colour of this wash is just to uh, as, as if the tank's been used, but not you know not overly. It's not it's not, it's not in pristine condition, but it's not uh, completely shot at either. So. I don't want it to look too overly weathered, like I say, it's... We've been a tank that's never started seeing any action because it was never got past the drawing board. It's, it's hard to tell how much weathering is enough and what's too much. Right, there's a bit on the guards at the back there which I missed. Let's just take a bit off there. And the tracks have been coated with, um, been primed with NATO black and then just on with a track wash. And I'll finish them off at a later date. That'll be one of the things to do later on. Is finishing the uh, light dusting of whatever mud or soil or dirt I want to do. And then I'll be doing the uh, metalising the cleats again to bring, the, to bring it bring them to life a bit because they look a bit boring just one colour okay so that's the, basically the lower hole done let's just pop that down there did I do the wheels? I didn't do the wheels did I? Right, so just a little touch take it off there right. as you can see so unless you want to about the contact I'm going to have to get some uh, some more contact sea eggly on some of these wheels. Which is a shame, but if I have a look of it, I'm going to have to. This piece of forming is just keeping the uh, tension off the track while the, while the glue dries on the uh, idler wheel. The other one's alright, just seems with that side didn't seem to be. See that's there. So the, you know it sits really nicely, nice and, and you can see the tracks are quite wide. I think they're probably even wider than the King Tiger if I have a look at them. So let me just pop the lid back on for now and see where we are. As you can see it's it's come out okay actually. It's got that weathered look. on there just to give it this wipe the excess off again I think let's just just a little bit oops just why it's still a bit wet I can just Take some of the bits off I don't like. I've done that, I've done actually. I'll do this while we're here. There's the top of the commander's cupola. You see, it's, look, it's, it's darkened it down, it's took that shininess off as well. Obviously, it'll be shined it all completely dries, but it's just that uh, it's taken that off there a little bit now, which I'm happy with. So, give it a bit more on here. I 
Right, so we'll remove this. I shall just pop that back into the container where it's safe. We shall take that off there, and then we'll bring in the turret. Again, I can say just a, a little touch. We'll start off with the front of the mantlet. There's still plenty on the brush. I've got a couple of figures coming for this as well, so I thought, uh, you know, there's not much you can see inside the turret, but the figures will cover most of that anyhow, so let's put a commander and a driver, sorry, commander and a, uh, a gunner, gun loader in the top, and then we'll touch it again, let's take a look for the rest off the brush. As you can see it's got too much on there. But we'll drag that down. Turn that around. Oh they're gone there so we can just can we see it. Yeah. Do this, spread that around, take the excess off. It's a bit more difficult, just be careful when you're actually obviously the track track holders and obviously they must be handles and you have to get into the tank so it's still a little bit too much on that brush. See again, can you kick it again? You see, for my big arm, fat arm, in the way, it's just a Yeah, so. it's just a turret now. It's not going to take much. 
As you can see, the bowel is uh, rather on the large side. It doesn't give me any information about the actual calibre of uh, actually fired. I'm going to have to look and see if I can find it. You probably won't be able to find it, but I'll give you some sort of idea of what ordinance it was going to fire. If it ever been built or went into action. Take some of that off that band, it's a bit too much on there again. Let's just keep that going. So as you can see, I've hardly used any wash at all to darken it. I haven't soaked it, I haven't done a lot of sludge wash, whatever you call. This is just a light wash over the, all the tank, including the wheels, basically all the, all the metal parts really. Just so it's, you know, it's been out in the field for a while, which obviously it hasn't, but there on the side, let me just check. This side here. There we go. And that's about it. Let's just check before we, before we uh, cover everything up. Yep, I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Let's just let's just brush, keep brushing what's on the brush out and the handle and things. And there again on the. Uh, The front cover, handle cover, the gun tur turret and the uh, mantlet at the front. So, I think we're about there, apart from there, it just doesn't look quite right. And this brush is practically dry now. So whatever I'm picking up is just from the surface of the tank itself. I'm spreading it about. So I think we're quite happy with that, so we should put that to one side. I'll just pop the brush in there. Should I put the lid on? I've done that again. It's forever doing that. Forgetting to put the stuff back into the container and putting the lid on. What an ass. There you go. Alright, we should put the lid back on it now. Yeah, so this is basically the, it's, for, it's a DAC wash for DAC vehicles, obviously for the uh, just clean it up before I show you it again. You can get the number off it if you really want to do this way. There we go. It's the it's an AK wash, enamel wash for duck vehicles, and the number is AK066. I think it's a 66. Six. Yeah. Well, that's what I've been. That's just basically for the uh, the first sort of thing I'm going to do with the tank. After it's been, I'm going to just let it all dry now and we shall get back to you with the next stage. So we'll see you soon.